everybody how's it going welcome to week 10 um, I want to welcome all of my new students and um, if you have any questions please let me know take some time and look at my welcome folder it's got a lot of information about expectations and grading and it's got a little bit about me you can meet all my puppies and um, so I just wanted to welcome them I would love to say goodbye, not love, I would like to say goodbye to my 8th graders. My I have 25 8th graders leaving me on Wednesday. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you around campus. Um, I'm on campus a couple days a week doing the YMCA, so if you see me, stop by and introduce yourself so I can put faces to a name, but I wish you guys the best. And um, my 6th and 7th graders, you have me all week. You need to complete all of this week's work so that I can transfer grades on Monday. So, um, oh, and for my 8th graders who are leaving me on Wednesday, you need to do assignments 1 and 2. Assignments 1 and 2. You do not need to do assignment 3. So you can go ahead and do those, and then I will um, forward your grades this weekend. All right, so with all that being said, um, we're in week 10, set up exactly the way it has been set up for the last <laughs> 10 weeks. So um, you have a before you begin. This is where you found the video that you're listening to right now. This is the student checklist. Okay, so the student checklist is um, for the week. It is a five-day week. We have um, a live session that kind of re kind of just goes over exactly what we're talking about here, and then you can ask any questions if I'm not um, if I if I don't explain it well. But uh, it is tomorrow from, or Monday, at 11 a.m. You have three assignments. And then on Wednesday, we have a voluntary meeting that uh, you can join. You do not have to join. It's at 11 a.m. also. And we usually do something fun. Last week, we did something with emojis. We've done cahoots. We've done some different things. It is not content based, so um, don't feel that you have to come. It's just another way for you guys to get together and um, for me to get to know you somewhat. Okay, as I explained last week, every other week we have vocabulary that you will have to take a quiz with. Um, so that was last week. This week is typing. However, we still have vocabulary that we review as we're going through it. So I just bring it out to you so you know. So this is the vocabulary we're using. Um, since we have used tables last week and this week, the question is, is can tables help organize information better? And hopefully by the end, you will be able to say that. Here's the information about the face-to-face -face meetings. Remember, if you are joining the face-to-face -face meetings, you need to put your first, last name, and period number before I will admit you. Um, your learning objectives are that you're going to understand the differences between a letterhead and a memo. This week's assignments are all about memos. And then, we're going to use preset tables to create easy to read data. So at the end, you will be able to look at the two things and see that because you are using tables, it is much easier to read. All right, so there is a video in um, assignment one that uh, you will watch. It will help you set up a memo. It also discusses a little bit the differences between letterheads and memos. You will submit the memo that you create 
you're creating it about the paddling company and the rates that they might charge. If you are following my naming convention, which you do not have to, it is not graded that way. I just need you to be able to look and find um, a, a file easily. And if you have everything document 19, document 32, that type of stuff, you'll never remember in three weeks which one it was. So if you're following mine, it is quarter two, assignment two. And you're putting it, or no, I take that back. I need to change this. It's quarter two, assignment three in your quarter two folder. Eventually you will put it in your quarter two folder, but it is not what I need you to send me a picture of now. That will be done at the end. So it's only submitting that document. Okay, so assignment two is you're going to take the same skills that you learned in assignment um, one, and you are going to create another table. It is going to be a table about the five major religions. If you are following my naming convention, it's quarter two, assignment four. You are going to upload this Word document. I do not want a picture, a screenshot. I don't want a, a written version of it. I want you to upload the doc, D-O-C. It's in your, I need you to upload the file. Like I said, we will put it in quarter two. Um, if you do it now, that's great. If not, that will be one that you will have to go and find all of these assignments and put them in order and go from there. And then assignment three is if you are new to my class, you need to go to typing test and take the typing test and send me your, um, your speed so that I can send you a goal for second semester. If you or have been in my class, I need you to go to this one and you need to um, take only test number one. Test number one is about the home row and we've already done stuff about the home row so hopefully it will make sense to you and then you have to submit a um, sentence that is uh, located inside the assignment. As always, if you have any questions, um, please message me, contact me, get a hold of me. I um, will help you as best as, that I can. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and enjoy your time at home.